You've been in the women's chess elite for a long time and played for the title in many different formats. What do you think about the current cycle and the candidates in general? Uh, yes, it's my third time, I guess, that I'm playing in the candidates and um, uh, we kind of got used to the, this format, so I'm looking forward to the start of this tournament. And your games are known for their depth and complexity. How do you approach the study of chess to maintain such a high level of play? Oh, I, I don't know. <laughs> it's just, uh, well, you are training, you are practicing, uh, you are trying uh, to improve, uh, and of course your playing style is uh, evolving and uh, changes during your career, so, um, well, it's just, <laughs> I think, a regular process. How do you think your style has evolved over the years? Well, uh, obviously it has changed a lot because when I was a kid uh, I was, uh, I think, um, quite an aggressive and very tactical player and then later on it changed a bit and uh, I tried to be more flexible and uh, I got better in positional play. So I have always been trying to make my style so that I don't have big gaps uh, in any parts of the game. You and your sister are both top chess players. How has this family dynamic contributed to your development and success in chess? Uh, yes, I am. I am very glad that I have Maria and that uh, she is a former women's world champion and that we have been in the women's elite uh, uh, for a very long time and that we have an opportunity to travel to many tournaments together. Uh, unfortunately, she is not here. She was, <laughs> I think, quite close to qualify, but unfortunately she didn't make it. Uh, though, of course, for me, she's a big support and I hope I'm a support <laughs> for her. So it's uh, great that uh, uh, we have these relations and that uh, we can go to the tournaments together and support each other during the events and, uh, of course, uh, <laughs> also in, uh, in life. Yeah. And has she uh, helped you prepare for this candidates? Uh, she, she gave me <laughs> her advice. <laughs> Okay, which actually goes to my next question. What is the best piece of advice you've ever gotten, either in chess or in life? Obviously, I have got many, but uh, it's quite difficult to choose one. And I think um, it, uh, I don't, it's difficult to say it was like the best, yeah, but maybe it was just the most useful for, uh, for some particular moment. So. But at the moment, I mean, I cannot really recall just one. <laughs> yeah. um, and what do you consider your greatest chess achievement? Uh, winning both World Rapid and Blitz in the same year, in 2016. Yeah, I mean, that's and a huge And crossing 2600 uh, ELO, so both of these. Yeah. And uh, what is the main difference for you participating in the candidates compared to a normal tournament? Um, we all know that this tournament is quite special, yeah, and uh, the winner gets a chance, uh, the right, <laughs> better to say, to play uh, the World Championship match, to challenge the World Champion. So, of course, it means a lot, and uh, this makes the whole story different. Yeah. And uh, do you have any unique rituals or habits that helps you uh, maintain a composed mind during a tournament? Okay, we have developed our own habits and some things we are used to do, but um, I, uh, I can't really name like something special. <laughs>